The SD alarm is enabled and I think my rail driver is all set up for this one. Yeah, rail driver is all set up. ADD4L, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Switch it to DC. Turn the power on. Make sure the brakes are on. We've got a red light at the moment, although I do hope nothing's coming through. We're just so, so starting at Swanley Junction, you're currently awaiting a path that should give you a couple of minutes to set up the 92. There you go. Trainsman124, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Turn some lights on. Is this not Chatham Mainline? You're right, it is Chatham Mainline. Right, we've got our path. That's the horn. Red bus, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Twenty limit coming up, and we've got this was a yellow light, so we've got to stop again. Roll into Swanley. Ooh, this one seems to take into account the length of the train. It takes ages to apply and release the brakes. Uh, Shaz and the map down below, that's something I've written. Uh, unfortunately, I can't share it. We'll get the 90 limit in a minute. There we go. Class 92 is more than dual voltage. If you look down at the voltage selector, it's got BRAC, BRDC, CTRL overhead, and European overhead. It's it's capable of supporting lots of different things. It's a very very versatile loco. It's actually technically two locomotives in one body, um, which is a requirement for a train to go through the channel tunnel that it be two locos essentially. Um, hence the Eurostar's got two power cars. Um, so the 92, they built two trains and put them into one body so that they only had to run one tr uh, single loco through. 
it's a yeah it's a unique loco because this course travels through to Europe We're going to Wandsworth Road. This is us. Heading that away. Steam Master, thanks for the follow, much appreciated. Your script it's not show follow. Unfortunately it's not my script, Simon. I might have to come up with my own one. Yeah, it's just Twitch alerts and I can't really have influence what that does. Lyra Heart Stings, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. I guess my machine might need a reboot. I mean, because when it started just there, it was barely leading from the disc at all. Which sounds an awful lot like it's got a. Uh, it's having a problem. So I might need to do a power cycle on the machine. I'll, I'll do that after the stream. The uh, problem with the power cycle is it restart the stream, you'll lose transcoding. Warning of drop to 60, which we're almost on anyway. Francois, no, I don't normally restart my computer every night. I probably should get in, back in the habit of doing that. It's not TS2016 that needs to reboot Arnold, it's the whole it's the whole machine. I guess I could do that. If we lose transcoding, we lose transcoding. Twelve miles to Wandsworth. Uh, Stardust, there'll be a giveaway this week. I'm not sure when, but there will be. I try and do five giveaways a week. And they're normally all on the same night. Petrolhead MCFC, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. What we're carrying? Containers. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Axley, thank you for the follow, much appreciated.
Does freight run on this route? I assume so, Stephen. Probably south. Yeah, but keep talking, Ben Harrison, is um, significantly less on the disc. Whereas this is very, very heavily heavy on the disc. So it's really odd because it's loading like it's loading. That did a load of loading from the from the disc just then, and you didn't even notice it. So I'm not sure it is related to loading from the disc then. I'm not sure what else it would be. Alright, double yellow. A1, A3 or A4? It'll be A4 for me. Single yellow. No, you, in fact, you should never defrag an SSD. What happens is that that actually would, would harm an SSD more than uh, anything else. Uh, Gav, I thought it was London Fan Fishing. It's actually on Chatham Mainline. But that is the scenario we're doing right now. Right, got the green light. Well, hard drive to recommend for TS, yeah. Well, my, my, any kind of SSD is going to put you in the right stead, in good place, uh, Susanna Pixie. Any kind of SSD is a good thing. Uh, ideally, the M2 PCIe Express SSDs are the best. They're the fastest. Um, the ones that currently, they're the fastest available. It's what's supposed to be in here, but tonight it's not acting like it.
It's just nice. This is quite. A, this is a very heavy train. Very heavy train, and it makes it. Uh, you have to think a bit more about uh, how you're acting to the. Because uh, it takes a while for the brakes to actually come on, but also, even maximum braking isn't stopping it very quickly. Ninety two or sixty eight NRLs, no idea. I don't have a preference between those two. There's an upgrade to go for friends, excellent. Great Western UK outside view, there you go. Do I play Pokemon Go? Yes, I do. I don't really have a favourite 460 GWR. I kind of don't really have a favourite of many trains, it's just I like all trains. Uh, the 92 is third rail and overhead, yes. Nine F or Castle Class. See, now you're now you're in an area where I do have a preference. Nine F. <laughs> uh, Shazen, I've got two American scenarios lined up for tonight. We're under the 40 limit here anyway. See the map. There you go, there's the map. We are working our way along here at the moment, that's us for Bravo 42. Bound for Wandsworth. There it is.
uh, Max Dream Trains, this is the uh, Chatham Mainline route. I think Moggy's been in here and swapped out my my SSD for a 500-5400 RPM disc. Certainly behaving like an old uh, mechanical disc. Almost like as if Steam, Steam has managed to in reinstall the game onto my D drive. Except that all the tran this transfer effort at the moment is on the C drive, so it can't be that. <laughs> hey there, Plane Freak, welcome. Anchors. What am I driving, Captain Jenks? I am driving the uh, Class 92 on Chatham Mainline. Hey, Jill Rogers. Glad you enjoyed this afternoon. Victoria certainly did. Yellow. Thunderbolt, um, uploading routes with custom assets is not a bug. That's very much intentional. Oh, we're back to a green light again. Forty limit going back to be going back into a forty limit in a minute, so I can't see much point extending a bit. That's fine, Captain Jack. Sorry to hear that. This is nice route, this. It sort of wanders all over the place. This is awful. <laughs> this is absolutely awful. Double yellow.
Single yellow with a feather. This is a nice route, it's awful. The route is lovely, the frame rate is awful. <laughs> FPS is fine at the moment. It's, F I think it's limited to thirty, but it's um, it's the stuttering when it's doing stuff. It's insane. You want a little horn? There's a little horn. Okay, back to uh, back to a green light now. Let's push it up to thirty. Three seven eight. We're obviously following something for the last run into Wandsworth Road now. Why can't you upload custom assets to Steam? Because then you could upload things that you don't necessarily have the rights to upload, including, you know, Just Trains routes could be uploaded, and then that would mean that the whole thing would have to be curated just to deal with all of that, which would mean that you'd need people assigned to do all of that, and um, essentially Workshop become too expensive to run. Because I guarantee you, if it's not moderated or curated, people will upload stuff they shouldn't be uploading. Uh, I know they will, because that's what UK Train Sim had a problem with until it became curated and every single upload had to go through and be pre-vetted before it could go online because people were uploading stuff they shouldn't be uploading. Not allowing, allowing assets eliminates that problem entirely. It doesn't mean the stuff that you can, can't upload to Workshop, but it's not the end of the day. How long will Skylines be? I don't know. We'll see what time we start and what time we end. I want to try and end the stream by about midnight tonight. It was stupid o'clock this morning when we finished and I want to try and stop doing that. Uh, Thunderbolt, you can talk to the partner team and you could put your custom assets in as like a scenery route a support pack on Marketplace. Uh, and then you can upload the route to workshop and just depend on that. That would be a way of doing it if you uh, if the if Dovetail would agree to put your stuff on uh, marketplace. What were they uploading? The UK train sim, anything and everything. There were commercial train packs, commercial route packs, there was other games, there was um, adult graph images and movie. It was all sorts of stuff getting uploaded and I had to get rid of it all. Basically it was being treated as a gen general file server for anyone that wanted to store anything or share anything really. It wasn't too much of the non-train related stuff but even the train related stuff, there was way too much stuff that was just like, well hang on, you haven't got permission to distribute that freely what are you doing uploading it to the server? oh I didn't know yeah okay I bet you didn't
One mile to go. Morricom, trouble is if you spoil it for everyone else. That's always the way, isn't it? That's just universal truth. The route is accurate, um, Shazen, um, but it's not. It, it's offset, um, and it's because it's compatible with a load of other routes. Which the one of those, the original one, was offset. So everything's had to be made offset to keep it compatible with that one. Which means that Danny can do his route joinings and things. The original route is London Brighton, and it dates back to even before Google Earth was implemented. But if you want root joining, that's kind of a pain you have to deal with, unfortunately. Particularly if you want to join to a route that's that old. This is just to Wandsworth Road, yeah, that's the, uh, the end. Unless there's a, a hidden thing in, uh, after it. into Wandsworth Road now, got the braking on to uh, slow us down. Come to a stop at Wandsworth Road and that'll be it. Did I have a good day today Chris? I did, I did thank you. Played a bit of tennis up the park with my daughter. Uh, deep break. If you buy any C that was taken off, that was bought off, break taken off steam, is what it should do. I don't see why it wouldn't. Well done, driver. You've successfully managed to complete all of the tasks required of you this evening. There you go. So that was uh, 4 Bravo 42, DP Simulations. Chatham Mainline, Class 92. Right. Hang on a second, folks. 